Hi friends, how are you today? I hope you're doing awesome. Today is Cinco de Mayo and I have prepared an art activity filled with lots of bright colors. To make this cool looking Mexican cactus plant, I use watercolors and then I use markers. And you would need one sheet of paper. I like to use watercolor paper when I use watercolors. But if you don't have a watercolor paper, that's okay. You can use any a regular sheet of paper. But you have to be very careful not to use too much water or else it may rip easily. If you do not have watercolors, that's okay too. You can grab your crayons and markers or whatever you have available. And let's have some fun drawing and painting. All right, I'm going to start with the drawing and I'm going to use the marker so you guys can see it better. But I suggest you do it with a pencil first and then you go over with the watercolors and once that dry you go over it with the marker. All right we're gonna start by doing a rainbow but a skinny rainbow skinny and long rainbow somewhere below the middle line just like that. All right, right where it ends, we're going to draw a straight line. Two lines on the side. And another straight line. So now we have a rectangle. I'm going to draw another rectangle down below, and this is going to be the pot. I'm going to give the cactus plant in its hands right here. And it's going to be an oval. One there. And one on the other side. Awesome. Now we're going to give it two eyes in the middle. And he needs a mustache. Wave, wave, wave right there. And another wave on the other side. And then he's going to have an oval mouth because he is singing. Just like that. All right. To make the hat, we're going to have a slanted oval on the top. Kind of like a halo on top of his head. Here we go. And then two lines coming out on the sides. And then another line on top to join the two lines. Now I'm going to put Kind of like a triangle, but like a hump there. All right, now he needs his maracas. And put one straight line here, and another one, and then an oval. Here we go. And the second one on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Two lines going down. And an oval. Perfect. Now that our drawing is complete, it is time to add some colors to it. And I'm going to start with the background first, and I'm going to use watercolors for that.
All right, now our backgrounds are nice and bright. It is time to paint our cactus plant. And I'm going to use watercolors for this, but this is the only other thing I'm going to use watercolors for because the rest I'm going to use markers. So get your green watercolors ready and let's get started. Once it's dry, now we can go ahead and start with decorating our pot. And I'm going to only use the black Sharpie marker to make patterns. So I'll make a wave over here. You can make whatever patterns. You can make squiggly lines. You can make zigzag shape patterns. I'm going to stop there so I could give you the idea to maybe do some circles and continue with it all the way. Do some lines, some rectangles, and then shade it. Some zigzag down here and continue with it. Have fun creating this design and go through it all the way down to the bottom. You can do stripe lines. And the closer you make them, the better it will look. I'm going to finish with this and then we will start on the hat. All right, it's time to color our hat. And for that, I'm going to use markers. And I'm going to try and use mostly blues and purples. And I'm going to do the same to decorate the maracas as well. And there you have it, your own Cinco de Mayo themed artwork. If you want to add some extra details like the spines on a cactus plant, then you will need to use a little bit of white acrylic paint. And I like to mix it with just a little bit of yellow so it's not completely white, just like that. And then I'm going to use it for the eyes. And then you can also do the spines, just like this. All right, 
and then you can continue on the hands as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Thank you for joining us. See you later.